Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss uh, lungs and uh, bronchopulmonary segments. Uh, basically, uh, when you look at the thorax, there are uh, cavities in the thorax. There are two uh, lateral cavities, which are known as pulmonary cavities, and there is a this is the anterior aspect. Two lateral cavities, pulmonary cavities, and a central cavity which is mediastinal cavities. The lateral cavity is con contains the lungs, and the mediastinal cavity contains everything else, including the heart, uh, great vessels, uh, trachea, esophagus, thymus, uh, lymphatics, uh, and nerves and vessels. Now. Uh, today's lecture would be mainly, mainly focused on bronchopulmonary segments. There are two lungs, right and left. The right lung has got three lobes and the left lung has got two lobes. The three lobes of the right lung are because of the two fissures in the right lung. One fissure is uh, uh, you can see this fissure. This is an oblique fissure going from the anterior side, going laterally, going medially, and going right up to the right high up, up to the posterior part of the lung. This is the oblique fissure. This oblique fissure starts at the spine of the T2 vertebra and then it follows the posterior part, lateral part and ends at the, almost at the sixth rib. So this oblique fissure uh, divides the lung into upper and lower lobe. The upper lobe is again divided, the upper lobe, uh, there, is a, there is an additional fissure and this is horizontal fissure. This horizontal fissure starts at the fourth intercostal space, runs uh, almost transversely uh, you can say transverse fissure and meets the oblique fissure somewhere at uh, L uh, at the rib 5. So this is the uh, horizontal transverse fissure and this is oblique fissure. Now below the oblique fissure is the lower lobe. Above the oblique fissures are the upper lobe and the middle lobe. The upper lobe is about the horizontal fissure. And the middle lobe, this is, this is the middle lobe. The middle lobe is below the horizontal uh, or transverse fissure. Now the upper lobe consists of three segments. Uh, these are bronchopulmonary segments. Uh, the upper lobe, this is the apex of the lung. Most highest, highest part of the lung, apex. And this goes above the clavicle, almost uh, encroaches the uh, cervical uh, neck, so neck of the uh, about the clavicle in process, and this is the inferior part, which is uh, resting on the dome of the diaphragm. Now, the this is upper lobe of the right lung. The upper lobe consists of three segments. One is this apical segment, right at the top. This is apical segment. I, I'm going to take this out. This is the anterior segments of the upper loop, lying anteriorly, and this is the posterior segments of the upper loop. And you can see the main, this is the trachea, this is the light main bronchus, and this is the upper loop. The upper loop gives rise to uh, three segments, a pical segment, anterior segment and the posterior segment. So each bronco seg bronchopulmonary segment has its own bronchus. It has also its own blood vessels, pulmonary artery and pulmonary veins. So each one of them is independent. Now we come to the middle lobe. Middle lobe of the right lung. The middle lobe of the right lung, this is the middle lobe of the right lung. These two are the middle lobe of the right lung. This is medial. side uh, and this is lateral. So this is medial 
middle lobe and this is lateral uh, middle lobe and you can see this is the middle bronchus that was the upper bronchus this is the middle bronchus dividing into a median segment and a lateral segment so this is middle lobe and this lobe this bronchus continues lower down as the lower lobe this is the whole lobe is the lower lobe this is the lower lobe the lower lobe again has got an apical segment this is which is lying posterior almost the whole of the lower lobe uh, lies in the posterior wall of the thorax a uh, very small part of the anterior lobe is in the posterior in the posterior part of the thorax most of the anterior lobe and the middle lobe is in front anterior now we discuss the lower lobe the lower lobe has got an apical segment this is a apical segment of the lower lobe and you can see the apical segment going over here then it has got a middle segment this is the middle segment of the lower lobe this is the anterior segment of the lower lobe let me take it out uh, this is the middle segment and this is the anterior segment this is the lateral and posterior segment so these are the uh, that's the lateral and that's the posterior segment the medial uh, uh, medial segment is almost lying medial and then you got uh, anterior lateral posterior segments over here so that is the lower bronchus dividing into five so all together there are ten bronchopulmonary segments three in the upper two in the middle and five in the lower so there are ten bronchopulmonary segments each bronchopulmonary segment has its own blood supply has its own bronchus has its own uh, venous system has its own lymphatics so each one is independent each bronchopulmonary segment is independent and this is useful in uh, pathology when one segment of the lung is involved you just remove that segment and leave behind the rest normal segments so that is segment segmentectomy instead of doing a lobectomy or a pneumonectomy lobectomy is removing a one lobe and pneumonectomy is removing the whole of the lung so instead of uh, removing uh, the whole